These influential Egyptians all have one thing in common. They have been outlawed, imprisoned, or forced into exile by Egypt's president Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, who has been in power since the 2013 coup, which overthrew the country's first democratically elected president, Mohamed Morsi. Amr Waqib is a popular Egyptian actor and Hollywood star. He was tried in absentia by an Egyptian military court in 2019 and was sentenced to eight years in prison on charges of spreading false news and insulting state institutions. He can't return to Egypt or act in Egyptian productions and has been dubbed a traitor for speaking out against Sisi and Egypt's armed forces. I think what we are seeing in Egypt today is, is, is really nothing that we have ever expected and nothing that we have seen before. I think we're, we're looking at a medieval uh, situation. In 2013, Amr Waqid was in support of the coup and claimed he saw it as a revolution. How can you argue in a, de in a democratic society that you should get rid of that power in a non-democratic way? Because the way that uh, Morsi government was disposed of is a non-democratic way, the no, same I'm way sorry. that... No, sorry, there was a very democratic way. Revolutions, revolutions are a democratic choice. Bassem Youssef is a political satirist and was named one of the 100 most influential people in the world in 2013. <laughs> His show, El Bernamek, directed heavy criticism at Morsi, but despite that, Youssef was forced into exile after Sisi came to power, so he moved to the US. I, I think my opinion about what's happening in Egypt is quite clear. Uh, uh, there is a reason why I'm not there anymore. Wael Ghanem is a prominent internet activist and is credited for helping kickstart the 2011 revolution against Hosni Mubarak. Ghanem's brother was arrested and his house was raided after he asked Sisi to apologize to Morsi's wife and ask for her forgiveness for killing her husband. And then there was the Tamarod group, which helped pave the way for Sisi to become president by organizing mass protests. One of its co-founders, Mohib Doss, later admitted that his group was naive, irresponsible, and even took orders from the army. Doss was arrested in 2016 by the same people he helped gain power. 